we will solder together a simple circuit on some Vera board. Vera board is a prefabricated printed circuit board that is made up of tracks. All the holes on a track are connected together to share a node. This works in a very similar fashion to a breadboard. However, unlike the breadboard, we can make a break in a track. Components on either side of a break do not share a common node. When using Vero board, you want to ensure it is nice and clean and not corroded. Half the Vero board on the screen is clean, so you can easily see the difference. Vero board can be cleaned using a scouring pad. Do not use steel wool as it will leave little bits of steel behind and this can short out your tracks. To clean the Vero board, use a scouring pad to scrub off the corrosive layer. It does not matter in which direction you scrub. When done, you should get a nice shiny finish. Then, just tap the board to remove any loose bits. Then, just get a cloth to wipe any remaining loose bits. When placing a component on Vero board, almost make it flat, rather than having it lifted and all over the place. The best way to do this is to insert the component through and bend the component's legs away. We will now demonstrate the difference between soldering through a clean board and a corroded board. Whenever you are soldering on the board itself, place a bit of solder on the tip and then you want the tip to come in contact with the board and the component lead at the same time. So preferably, place the tip in the corner and feed the solder on the other side. When done, bring the tip up so you can get a nice clean finish. Repeating this step, on the corroded section of the Vero board, you will see it is much harder and taking a longer time to take onto the component. You can eventually get there, but you risk getting to the situation where you start to lift the track off the board itself. You could be left with a dry joint. That is, a big lump of solder that is not making contact with the copper track. Also, when soldering a component onto the Vero board, do not use a tapping motion. Just keep the tip in place and add the solder. We now need to cut the leads off the component. The proper way is to cut just at the tip of the apex of the solder. Hold the component lead while you are cutting so that it does not fly away. If you cut it too low, you can get yourself into the position where you cut straight into where the board is. In this situation, you are cutting the track straight off. On a track on Vero board, all the holes share a node. To create more than one node on a track, you need to make a break. That is, the break will stop current flowing past the break. To make a break, get a 3mm drill bit and with your hand make a hole big enough to cut the copper track. If you do not cut a hole deep enough, you will find you have a tiny bit of track left on the outside and current will still flow. If you cut too deep, you are basically cutting a hole through the board itself.